When racehorses stop breeding and racing, they're often just cast aside. It doesn't matter if they have the best genes or even if they won the triple crown, many suffer the same fate. In some cases, horses like these are euthanized once their owners don't have a use for them anymore. But a farm in Kentucky is working to change that. NBC LX contributor Greg Bledsoe spoke with the farm's founder about what they're doing to give retired racehorses a new home. Uh, I was very naive. I just knew I had this idea. Come on, Patch. Patch is famous. He ran in the Kentucky Derby, he only has one eye. My name is Michael Blowen. Started this uh, Old Friends in 2003. They're old and they're friends. This is a place for old racehorses when they're done with their racing and breeding careers uh, to come and retire and finally uh, enjoy life. They deserve this. Yeah, and they've earned it. When you think about it, they've worked hard their whole lives. Before this, there were very few avenues for them to go. Some of them were humanely euthanized, some of them were retired to their owners and their breeders, and, and, and some of them ended up on slaughter trucks going off to, to the slaughterhouse. And I said, well, I'm gonna put them in my yard and hope that people come visit. Uh, and I knew this was a good idea. Right now, we have about 156. Thank you. Just, you just walk around here and I can tell you stories about every one of these horses. Silver Charm, every single one of them. We got company. Our most famous horse right now is, is Silver Charm. He's a wonderful horse. He's 27 years old. In 1997, he won the Derby and the Preakness, almost won the Triple Crown. Yeah. When he retired, he earned almost $7 million. And he retired with more earnings than any horse in the history of horse racing. He's also the sweetest and the nicest and the smartest. Hey, Pops. This one is Popcorn Delights, and he also was one of five horses to play Seabiscuit in the movie. And we got Bellamy Road, and he was owned by George Steinbrenner. Alphabet Soup won the, uh, <laughs> he won the Breeders' Cup Classic, and he beat Cigar. Uh, he survived cancer. He had three tumors on his rear end. Oh, here comes a bus. So we get 25 to 30,000 people a year. That was pre-COVID. Thanks for coming, everybody. The more income that we generate and the more fans that we have, who likes you? The greater chance we have to get more horses and get more property, provide more horses uh, homes. I mean, that's what we're really doing. Right, Storm? And now aftercare has become a, a big thing in racing. A lot of the farms and a lot of the racetracks now are very heavily involved in aftercare. So things are changing? Totally changing, yeah. How does that make you feel? It makes me feel great. They have a great life here. I think they're happy, yes. So every one of these horses has a great story. A great story. Thanks to you, their story's a little bit longer than it might have been. Yeah, and thanks to them, my story's probably a little bit longer, too. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.